Welcome to our video which will show you how to set up and carry out the GCSE required practical into human reaction times. Students are going to plan and carry out an investigation into the factors which affect human reaction time. For the simple version of this experiment, which looks at how repetition of a drop and catch experiment affects reaction times, we will be using the following equipment. A meter ruler. A lookup conversion table for converting ruler measurements to reaction times which is usually provided by the exam board. Today, we are using the example table from AQA. Two participants are required for this experiment. Person one sits on a chair with their dominant arm resting on the table so that their hand is overhanging the desk. Person two holds the meter ruler vertically so that the zero centimeter mark is in between person one's thumb and first finger and tells person one to get ready to catch the ruler. Person two let goes of the ruler and person one should catch this using their thumb and first finger only. The number which is level with the top of the person one's thumb is read off the ruler and recorded in the table. Once several repeats have been completed, students can look up their results using the exam board's conversion table. The reaction timer ruler could also be used here in the same way. The distance and reaction time values can be read directly off the ruler scale. Another alternative method for measuring human reaction times is to use the TSA device and its associated reaction time switches. Connect the two reaction time hand switches to the DIN sockets on the side of the TSA. Plug in the TSA to the main supply, the device will power up and show the menu screen. Press the switch that is connected to channel zero and make sure the green zero LED illuminates. Repeat for the reaction timer switch connected to channel 1. Press the select button on the touchscreen until the desired mode is reached. In this instance, we are going to measure reaction time using the two reaction timer switches and the gap time mode. When gap timer is displayed, press enter. Gap timer go when ready will be displayed. Give the reaction switch connected to the zero channel to one pupil, it will start the timer, and give the one connected to the channel one to another pupil. Next, press go, and the screen will display waiting. When both pupils are ready, pupil one, who has the zero channel switch, will press the button. The green LED will light. As soon as the second pupil sees the green LED light, they press the button on their switch, and the timer will then display the reaction time of the second pupil. The TSA also has the capability to compare the reaction times of hands and feet using the additional reaction times foot switch. This can be used to compare hand-eye and hand-foot coordination. Remove the reaction timer hand switch from channel 1 input and replace this with a foot switch reaction timer. Check the foot switch is connected to the TSA by pressing the pedal and ensuring that the green LED lights up. Repeat the procedure using one pupil to control the channel zero input, which is then connected to the hand switch, and the second student controls the foot switch. As soon as the light for the channel zero input is illuminated, the second student should press the foot switch to measure their reaction times. Hand and foot reaction times can then be compared. There are many other ways to investigate human reaction times. Noise distractions could be used to see how that affects a reaction time. Also, drinking a caffeinated versus decaffeinated drink before and after testing to show the effects of caffeine. Students could also investigate the difference in reaction times between their dominant hand and their weaker hand. We hope you have found this practical advice useful.
For expert technical support, contact the Philip Harris technical team on tech support at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk forward slash blog.